MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cincinnati Reds. Interleague Baseball comes your way next. Sonny Gray is on the mound for the Reds in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, man. On the mound now from Vanderbilt is Sonny Gray. Not a very big guy, but a good three pitch mix. Mid to upper 90s fastball, 93 to 95. Big power overhand curveball. And his changeup has gotten better as he's gone along. If he's on early, Heating you'll know you'll see tomorrow. lots of swings and misses. Now at the plate, Bo oh. Bichette. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Our temperature a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. The 1 2. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. What a swing. What a huge boost right there. Not only does it get your boys fired up, but it kind of silences the crowd for a minute. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio. A ball and no strikes. Count one and oh. The one oh home. And this winds up inside for a ball two and oh now. Gray, the former Yankee, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected three and three over now. so let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Gary Simmons you know, this Gary Simmons he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to yeah I'm okay with it though Dan you want to go east west I'll make the adjustment it's the north south that'll kill you three and one you maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window this is certainly that situation base is empty here with nobody out. And it's fouled away. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was that really third. well executed. The that field. classic strikeout pitch. You think it's Here fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now, Lourdes Gurriel. And he fouls this one off. Great. 
Ray ready with the 0-1. Check swing here, but he pretty okay. clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. One smart to lay off down. there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man in. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Senzel is there, two gone. That is four. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So digging in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. This one's ball nowhere one, no close play. as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball and a strike. Ah. Fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 1-0 Toronto. for the Blue Jays in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Welch. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour. Kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball. Does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if he's on early. He has to get his breaking pitches over to make his fastball effective. Stepping into the box, Nick Senzel. They lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Inside well, with the fastball, it's one and all. The pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. His past history with Hunjin Ryu, he's two for three. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Two and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And another 2-2. Two -two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. That ball to two balls, no fair. 
hit softly down the line at first. But this will get foul two and one. One out, nobody on. Now that's popped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Batting first, the third baseman, Eugenio. Digging in, Eugenio Suarez. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They're down 1-0. Stepping into the box, Travis Shaw, as it will be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. Travis Shaw. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Up and the 0 1. 1 and 1. We got two balls, one strike. sitting on right there might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play Randall Gritchick at the plate now as here's a strike from Gray to put him in the hole though and one well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, no and he's in the hole 0-2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's Two slider strikes. is so good. I think he might throw it again. Bases are empty. One man out. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. Now the three and two pitch. This is on the ground over the first. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. Yes, he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Aye. 
here. Strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and three. the pitch. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Into the box now. Reese McGuire he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Richard is off of first with two away. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches. And ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Two and one. Count is two and one. early and now it's even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering and it's fouled away. Ready with another two two swing and a miss and that ends the inning. One left for Toronto, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Last half of the second set to go. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Change up called strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Up and the 0-2 pitch. Well now, below the knees two. laid off on the changeup there. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Two balls and two strikes now. 2-2. Uh, from 0-2 to 3-2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Line hard, but foul. Full count pitch home. Line drive to center field. Richard is right there, one down. The second base. So stepping in, Josh Van Meter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two.
swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Winker. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ryu looks in, 1-0 on its way. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2-0. Now a cut fastball finds the target, 2-1. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Guerrero is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. It remains one nothing. Finds the zone for a strike. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The, the best ones have left. that late action that just darts at the oh. last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, hold the ship. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now the 1-0. That's bolted. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's nope. certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Ray now on 2 0. Oh. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as the Blue Jays take a 2 0 advantage. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. To the plate now, Kevin Biggio. The second baseman, Kevin. And here's the strike from Gray to put him in the hole 0 and 1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One ball, one strike. And two the pitch one. misses low and away for ball two. Hey. And it's two balls and two strikes now. 
That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Uh, 2 2. Swing it. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Now back, left fielder. Riding in once Lourdes. again, Lourdes Guriel. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in no two. Ball, two strikes. Hit well on the ground to first. On to the bag with it himself is Bato, and the inning is over. A run for the Jays on the solo homer. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-0 Toronto. Standing in, Freddie Galvis. 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. Let's see if the bottom of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready now, Tucker Barnhart will get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. Speed pitch ball, in the dirt right. as he takes it for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. At the plate, Sonny Gray. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch on its way. Ball inside. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One ball, one strike. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Reds are down in order. They trail it here, two to nothing. Cincinnati as we check in with Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Digging in. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's over for one after grounding out in his only trip Vladimir to the plate so far. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. In there. Strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Hits this one hard the other way. And he'll step on He's first up. himself to the end. Now battle. Third base. Travis Shaw. Now in the box, Travis Shaw. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the play. Two away now. Now back, the center fielder. Randall Gritchick. Here's Randall Gritchick. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one, no strike. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Hey. Good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. This is in the air to left field. Castellanos. Going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they're on top, two to nothing. Digging in, Nick Senzel back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that. Man. They've yet to figure this guy out. Oh. Oh. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now the pitch. Nope, at the ball. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. the line at first but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone three foul balls in a row he wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. and he'll step on first himself for the out the first base man Forward now, Joey Votto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Votto here. 0 and 2. 
Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Into the box, Eugenio Suarez, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Two out, nobody on. Aye. And that's right there, and we're even at one. One and one. I uh, gets him to swing and a pitch two, down and out of the zone. One and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Shaw has it. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away. He's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the red. They're still down. It's two nothing. New inning set to get underway, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Teoscar Hernandez. We're ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field, and the Jays have moved out in front, three to nothing. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. We better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone, or that total might continue to rise. Into the box now, Reese McGuire. Number 10. As here's a strike from Gray to put him in the hole 0 and 1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Gray ready with the 0 1. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And he got him. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. At the plate, Hyunjin Ryu. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Blue Jays pitcher with an even one and one count. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Ready with the one one pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. 
So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Bo Bichette, two hits and two trips for him thus far. The last at that many D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied into straightaway right. Winker is in his tracks now. And that will retire the side. Jays add one more on the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 3 0 in favor of the Jays. Back in Cincinnati as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments quickly the things turning around for them. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. The 2 0. Yeah. Two balls, one strike. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first down. Now back, second base pitch. Got Meter. Ready now for Cincinnati. Josh Van Meter was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Nope. Don't be shocked if this pitcher nope, tries to know. rush a heater right here. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hit on the ground to third. Shaw loves it. So gets him two down. Select fielder number 23. Winker. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth, and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Now 
now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. No Ball, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Freddie Galvis would be next. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Ryu gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They trail it here, three to nothing. Standing in, Kevin Vigio. They'll get us going for the Jays in their half of the sixth. First offering on its way. Swing and miss, but he's right on here. One strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. 2-1. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Ball three. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming on glued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now. Three and two. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Tough ball pitch four. to lay off, but he Perfect. did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put Let's a start it. away. Make Over. him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Here comes the red skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and that's going to be all for Sonny Gray. The windup lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Lucas Sims takes over on the mound here with nobody now, out in the sixth inning. Red. Number 39, Lucas. Lourdes Guriel will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out.
from the stretch. Fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Throw over to the bag. Dive, but he's back in there. The 0-1. One ball, one strike. him up. Barnhart has a play. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Up next for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So a runner at first now with one away and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. From the stretch. No nope, fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. He's going, he's going. Up. There goes the runner. In there. Now the throw. Is there and he's out trying to swipe second. Nice release by Barnhart. away two out nobody on got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning nothing doing for the Blue Jays they lead it three to nothing Stepping in is the veteran shortstop. Freddie Gallows are moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Pitch popped up. Guerrero moving to his left. He's got it one away. Now in now for the Reds, Tucker Barnhart. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball oh, off the plate away. It's ball one. It's 2 and 0. Bases are empty, one man in. Down Whoa, low, and damn. the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Miller yeah. Proven will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. And he takes ball one. The 1-0. One Hopped up. Guerrero over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. No better fielder. Nick, Ken Bell. 
In now, Nick Senzel, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. into foul territory behind first and nope this one falls so he'll get another shot. Ryu comes set here's the 0 1. Two out with the man at first. Very high two and one. Set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Well, the tying run looms on deck, so keeping this guy off the base is essential. In danger of walking him right here, though. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Sliced hard on the ground. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. In is Joey Votto now. So look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Misses ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Too tight with Whoa, that one. Yeah. Three and oh. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Here it comes, the 3 0. Hey. He's taken strike one. 3 and 1 with 2 on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Two men are on with two men out. And this oh. one misses Devado, and so reach. It's a ball four. Time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Now to the plate, the Eugenio Suarez. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Ready with the 0 and 1. Whoa, and he misses down. with it 1 and 1. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And this is 2 and 1. It yeah, also becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2 1 pitch. Scorch to third. Shaw fields it clearly. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Nate Jones is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57. Nate. 
Digging in next will be Travis Shaw. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The third team, number two, Travis Shaw. Here's the first pitch to him. 1 0. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The 1 0. Fouled off. Swing and a line drive. But uh, just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Jones, the former Chicago White Sox, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Randall Rickett. So one away now in the Toronto seventh. And the big right handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Here's the 3 0. Ruled a strike on the outside corner. 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Ball four. That he loses ball. him on ball four. Now batting the right fielder, Teoscar. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He went deep last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. And try not around. to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Ball one to start the at bat. The one zero. A sinker that misses for a ball. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. And a good comeback fastball the there. It's two balls and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Winker is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, number 10. Ready once again, Reese McGuire. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First delivery to him on the way. At the ball. Ball one. Now a throw over to first. Runner back safely. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss on the sinker. A ball and a strike. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side.
now the one and one pitch. Hey. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Blue Jays held in check, but they lead it 3 nothing. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. It's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Now here it comes. Trying to check it in its oh, own man. one. Count is even I'm one sorry, and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Every ball club has that spark club guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A bouncer up the middle. Beautiful diving stop. He goes to first. Safe. Remarkable play just to stop that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff man is a forward. Hey, that's a heck of a job by the shortstop right there for him to range. At least get to that ball and show his pitcher with a dive to stop. He's willing to get dirty all day long. Wasn't able to complete the play, but the effort was there. And it's fouled away. No hits to this point. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. Swing and a oh, it's off the third base bag. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball, and they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Number 33. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. First and second now. Nobody out. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, that count. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. None out, runners at first and second. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's a ball. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Well, there's the pitch. His best friend right there. The inning was awful. A rough start, right? But nothing changes to have like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third. Maybe. Freddie Galvis in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground. Yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop. 
And that's in there for a strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Two outs here with a runner at third. Galvis behind 0-2. And hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. Pause and the 0-2. Change up and he ain't buying it. One and two. Pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. 2 2. Driven nicely into the gap. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 3 to 1 contest. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. He was on that lose control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board. And now that they've broken it in, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Sam Gavilio. Come on the pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Danny Jansen will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And batting nine, number nine. Blake now, Tucker Barnhart, as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back to center fielder, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Throw back in is a wild one. Man, it's like deja vu all over again. Two well hit back to back doubles that bring the run. This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swing points here. The seven will come out of pinch hit here in a big spot. Number one. second base. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Rip down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. putting together a really good at bat here. And that misses two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Heading out towards shallow right. On the run is Hernandez. A dive, and he brings it in. 
And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. in books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Manny V I don't know what your thoughts are D-Roll but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. Some swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Hey, I know how frustrated he is right now. They say the pitcher gets a strike, the hitter gets a strike, and the umpire gets a strike. That's exactly what's happening right now. He's got to regroup. He's got one more. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first down of the inning. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff man on the base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth oh, inning of a one-run game, yeah. that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Bichette. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. One and oh pitch on the way. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Swung on and lifted down the left field line. Castellanos is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. The batter number eight, second base, Gavin Biggio. Ready for another shot now, Kevin Biggio. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, that pitch is out. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cut fastball and it's by him one, one and one. Three. Wisely Help lays off the cut one. fastball there. It's two and one. Fastball just missed above the zone. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Squared that one up just a little late. Two out, nobody on. Misses That's ball, four. ball four. Now back, left fielder, Mortis Gurriel. Stepping up now, Mortis Gurriel. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch.
Biggio is on his way home. He will score, and they now lead by two. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Yeah, Has yeah. to feel good as a hitter right there to not yeah, only get a ribby yeah, knock, but to yeah. give your team a little bit of freedom. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo kind of game up. That's not the case now. Stepping in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One and oh, one. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two to count now. And he fouls this one off. Hits are even right now at five aside. That misses and we're even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. Misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Right about now, the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. to keep the game close here's the pitch I'll tell you it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes what are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone 1 0 pitch there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and nearly a three run shot instead it's a foul ball. One home is taken for ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. 2-2. Uh, two, two. <laughs> Tried to get him with the cutter, three but it's two. a full count. Three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over.
for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's now four to two Toronto. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nick Senzel. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. You've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game. You know you're doing something right, man. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. The pitch. Smoke toward the hole. This will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Now pitching for Toronto, number 45. Joey Votto as he takes a bold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Lifted down the line in left, and no one will track it down. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Oh, right One and two. Oh. Fastball here misses the low and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey, expect the challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Here's the pitch on two and two. Helpful. The Eugenio Suarez, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. Another four count pitch home. Curveball grounded towards second. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. But not sure the spin throw was necessary there. You go. It sure looked good. It would have been questionable if he threw it away, but he put it right on the money for the out. Into the box, the Eugenio Suarez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pitch to him. Nope, that's a ball and no strikes. Getting late, 4-2 on score as we play the eighth inning. Cool, and he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Too low to older, a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. There's a look now to pitch. Three and oh now. Manone, which is one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled off. Three one. 
Swung on and missed. A full count now. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Now the three and two pick. Nope. And that After misses third. ball four. four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit the part of the zone. So no harm done. Of course, out anywhere now. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. He set. Here it comes. Hey. All one to the count. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you've got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Runners are at first and second with one away. Behind 0-2 now. And two count and the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Peel down to first and no swing. It's ball two. First and second now. One man out. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? To second for one. Oh, he's first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for Cincinnati. They trail it here four to two. right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready for another chance. Randall Gritchett was a walk in his last trip. Randall Gritchett. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh and one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. One and one. And two there's one. ball two now. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. Two, two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone on a 3 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Yeah, at the plate to Oscar yeah. Hernandez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big nope. power, he's bad. feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The 1-0. -oh. Swung on and missed. Strike one. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. So two balls and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Now the three and two pitch. 
bounce it to the left side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What a play. The back, number 45. Rowdy Tellers will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 44. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off for ball one. Two and one. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. Now here's a swing by Tellez as he gets a lot of this one out to deep right field. And this one clears the bullpen. A long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Yeah, Matty D. How about D. Rowe? This is one of the better ballparks to hit in in the world. The Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. All flies out of this place. Great American Small Park. We used to watch guys like Adam Dunn and Jay Bruce hit monster bombs in this yard. I'm not surprised at all with what we saw today. Wind up and the 0 1. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. Now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Jays add one more on the solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Reds. It's now 5 2 Toronto. Anthony Bass enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 52, Anthony Bass. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that will bring in the second baseman, Josh Van Meter. Not impossible, but highly unprofitable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Strike two. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. Jansen waits on it, and that's the first out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Digging in to try it again, Jesse Winker. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right All now. One. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Hey. It's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Two delivery.
strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Winker is retired. Two down now. Digging in and looking for more. Freddie Galvez. He needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And there's a called strike two. As now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. The Reds down to their last strike. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Five to two, the final today. The Toronto Blue Jays get the win on the heels of four home runs. Hyunjin Ryu is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.